Hello, I'm Sri from CBTU. CBTU presents a course on Amazon Web Services. Section Amazon EC2 Launch and Access Windows Virtual Machine. Amazon EC2 is flagship product of AWS under compute. It is secure and resizable compute capacity in the cloud. EC2 is a flexible service that provides resizable cloud-based compute capacity in the form of EC2 instances. Let us sign up for a free account and log into your account. This is EC2 dashboard and we can launch instances from here. This is snapshot of Amazon EC2 resources in US West region, Oregon availability zone. Let us create an instance by clicking on this. Under free usage tier, we can launch and run micro instances for a year for free. This is a launching wizard with seven steps. We can launch AWS EC2 instance in seven simple steps. Step one, choose an Amazon machine image. Amazon machine image or the AMI is a template that contains the software configuration, operating system, application layer and applications required to launch your instance. You can use the AMIs provided by the AWS or your own AMIs or buy from AWS Marketplace or use the community provided AMIs. You notice that some AMIs are marked as free tier eligible. When you are practicing AWS production services, be sure to select free tier eligible AMI so that you will not incur any unnecessary charges. If you have our own AMIs, they will be displayed here if we don't have any Marketplace. You can buy the customized software that runs in the AWS cloud. You can buy the software to meet specific needs from many vendors. These are the community AMIs. Okay, let us go back to quick start. Let us select Microsoft Windows Server 2016 base. This is free tier eligible. And the root device type is EBS. Virtualization type is HVM hardware virtual machine and the other option being PV, para virtual. ENA, elastic network adapter, this is enabled. And let us select this. Now we are in step two, choose an instance type. Amazon EC2 provides a wide selection of instance types optimized to fit different business needs. Instances are virtual servers that can run your applications. The different type of instances have CPU, memory, storage and networking capacity to give you the flexibility to choose the appropriate to select the right specification for your applications. We have general purpose, compute optimized, memory optimized and these many instance types. This is general purpose instance type. Instance type is t2.micro, free tier eligible. This comes with one virtual CPU and EBS elastic block storage. Network performance is low to moderate. And let us go with this. If you have any other business needs, you can select any other instances that you may need. Free tier eligible, then you are going to incur the cost. Let us select this. This is step three, configure instance details. Now we can directly review and launch with the default settings or we can configure the instance details. We are going to configure one instance. We can launch this instance into auto scaling group also. And the purchasing option, we can request spot instances now itself or we can do it later. We'll use the default virtual private cloud VPC or we can create a new VPC. Let us go with the default one. Let us use the default subnet. We can create a new subnet also. Auto assign public IP. By default, this is enabled and let us keep it enabled. Adding instance to placement group is for redundancy and good performance. And let us not add now. Domain join directory. We don't have any directory and we can create a new directory if you want. IAM roles are for applying restrictions to access various AWS resources. We don't have one, we can create one if you want. Let us go with default. Shutdown behavior, it is stop by default and let it be default. 
we can enable terminate protection so that our instance will not be accidentally terminated. CloudWatch Monitoring CloudWatch is monitoring and management service built for developers, system operators, and IT managers. Default CloudWatch metrics are free and if you want to enable CloudWatch detailed monitoring with one minute updates, then you can enable this and it's chargeable. Let us go with default. For the production workloads, we can enable detailed monitoring. For now, we go with default. Tenancy, we can use shared or dedicated instance. If you want Amazon EC2 dedicated instance, they are chargeable and you can explore this page. If you want GPU support and 3D acceleration and graphics and high performance, you can add elastic GPUs and charges are applicable as per your need. By default, we are using micro instance, which is free tier eligible. And if enable this unlimited additional charges may be applied. This unlimited will boost burstable performance. You can view the advanced details. You can enter any information like startup scripts or any other information here. And then go to the next step that is add storage. These are the default settings of our storage. And the default size is 30 GB and volume type is general purpose SSD. IOPS minimum and burstable 100 slash 3000. And delete on termination is checked here. And the volume is not encrypted. If you want to add new volumes, you can add here. The size can be configured by default. This volume is persistent and not deleted on termination. If you want, you can check this. And you can go for the encryption. Let us go to the next step. We can add the tags. Tags are nothing but key value pairs, which will be applied to instances and volumes. It's like a name. This can be applied to the instances, volumes, or both. Next step, configure security group. A security group is a set of firewall rules that control the traffic for your instance. You can add inbound rules to allow specific traffic to reach your instance. We have existing security group. Inbound rules for this are permit all types of traffic, all protocols, all port ranges from everywhere. This is an open security group and has no security. Let us create a new security group. Let us give a name. We want to permit RDP, Remote Desktop Protocol, and we can configure any other protocols we may need. TCP protocol, port range 3389, this is a default RDP port. And source, custom, you can configure the specific source IPs, 0000 /0 is open and allows all IP addresses to access your instance. We can give a description. This instance we are creating is for demo purpose. Let us keep the default source and let us click on review and launch. It's warning us that our security group is open to the world. So no worries as of now. We can review all the features that were configured. So let us click on launch, the last step. We need a key pair to fetch the Windows password. A key pair consists of a public key that AWS stores in the cloud and the private key that you store it on your system from where you want to access the AWS EC2 instance. This public and private key combination will help you to connect to your instance securely. We have existing key pair and let us create a new key pair. Let us give a name Windows key pair. Let us download. Store this .pm file in secure and accessible location. Let us click on launch instances. We have corrected the error and named the security group as SG Windows 1. And let us review and launch.
let us use windows key pair which was generated acknowledge yeah it's creating yes the instances are now being launched it will take a few minutes to get it into the running state when we can use it is still processing let us pause for a while and come back by the time it will be in the running state this is newly launched instance and it is in the running state so we have not named it let us name it as uh, win16 and this is instance id instance type availability zone and status checks is still initializing this is the public dns and the public ip address that is assigned that is auto assigned these are the configuration parameters of for instance this is public dns public ip status checks so let us come back and check this till it's initializing so let us connect to our instance we need to fetch the windows password for that click here we need to wait for some more time to retrieve the auto generated password let us pause for a moment and come back after some time statistics are green and uh, the two checks are system reachability and instance reachability both are passed monitoring this screen will display the cloudwatch metrics it's showing the data for last hour we don't have any data we can watch this basic monitoring after some time by default basic monitoring is available to us and if you want detailed monitoring we can enable it it will provide the metrics at one minute frequency and it's chargeable for the production workloads you may go for it let us cancel let us fetch windows password to connect to the windows ec2 instance we use remote desktop connection to connect to the windows instance to auto generate the windows password we'll use the key pair let us use the windows key pair which is associated with the instance where it is created. We have used windows key pair while creating this windows instance. Now we are going to find the key pair path. Let us use the windows hyphen key pair dot pm file. Let us decrypt the password. The password is decrypted and we have the password here. Let us copy the password. This is the public DNS. This is the public DNS. This is the public DNS to which we are going to connect. And the username is administrator. And this is the password that is this is the password that is descriptive. Let us copy this password onto clipboard. And now previously we have downloaded Windows RDP file. Now let us download the remote desktop file. Now let's download the Now let us download the remote desktop file. Is downloaded. Let us click on this. Let us, let us apply the password that we have copied. Accept the certificate error. Now it's connecting.
This is our Windows instance. So now we are connected and you can start using your server. This is our Windows server that is configured just. Now we got into the remote server. So in shortest possible time you got your Windows server set up. In less than a few minutes we have our Windows server in the cloud on AWS and ready for use. You can start configuring the server and applications. This is the power of Amazon EC2. Let us close this instance. This is all basic monitoring of CloudWatch metrics. And for the instance running, we have got different options. You can stop, reboot, or terminate. And the instance settings that can be configured, it's an add edit tags. It can be attached to auto scaling group. And attach or replace IAM role. And change termination protection. You can change to T2 Unlimited. You can get the system log or instance screenshot. You can create an image out of this instance. Networking and security, you can change the security groups or attach a new network interface. And you can manage IP addresses. You can enable CloudWatch detail monitoring from here. Also add edit alarms. These are some of the screenshots which we have captured. Step 1. Choose an Amazon machine image. Step 2. Choose instance type. Step 3. Configure instance details. Step 4. Add storage. Step 5. Add tags. Step 6. Configure security group. Step 7. The last one. Review instance launch. We have created a key pair to generate Windows EC2 instance administrator password. We fetched the password and downloaded remote desktop file to connect to the instance. This is snapshot of Windows Server Amazon EC2 instance that we have just created. And when testing is done, or we don't need our instance anymore terminate the AWS resources as you will not incur any additional or further charges on your instances. Let us terminate our Windows instance. This is the Windows instance that we have just created and go to Actions, Instance State and Terminate. This is the root EBS volume and we don't have any termination protection so this can go so click on S terminate. It is shutting down now and it will take a couple of minutes to terminate the instance. Thanks for watching.